In this video, we will show you how to create a basic network PSK policy. First, we go to Configure, Network Policies, and select the Add Network Policy option. This provides options for wireless, switches, and routing. For this policy we select wireless and deselect switches and routing. For this video, we will call our policy, How to PSK. You have the option to add a description of the policy if required. Then click Save. Next, we add the wireless network configuration by clicking the Add button. For this PSK network, we select all other networks. We can now add the SSID name. For this video, we will use How To as the SSID name. The broadcast name defaults to the same value as the SSID itself, which is the typical configuration required. Note, by default, the SSID is enabled on both radios, although this can be adjusted if required. We then configure the SSID settings. The default setting is private pre-shared key. We will cover this in a future how-to video, but for now, we will use the WPA2 personal setting. Typically, you will leave the key management, encryption method and key type settings at the default values. You must enter a key value between 8 and 63 characters. For this video, we will use a basic example of how to how to. Do not use this value in your deployment, but select something more secure. We will leave the configuration settings for VLAN profile and captive web portal as default for the purposes of this video. Now we can click Save and select the Deploy Policy tab, which enables us to show onboarded devices based on three criteria. These are whether the policy has been assigned to them, whether they are eligible for the policy, or if they match a specified filter when applied through the use of the filter icon. For this video, we will select the Eligible for Policy option, which will show we have one onboarded device that can accept this policy. Select that device and click Upload. In the pop-up window, we should then select Complete Configuration Update, which will ensure the entire configuration is correctly applied to the device. Now, click the Perform Update button. If we then immediately return to the Manage Devices view, we can see the device is rebooting as the new policy we created is applied. In summary, we have shown the process to create a basic network PSK policy and applied it to an access point. Look out for more videos on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to receive updates on additional how-to videos like this one. Thank you for watching.